Oh, oh. Oh, you wanna touch it, don't you? Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, but today I wanted to film a video to start off the new year um, about my 2021 goals. Um, I've never really been into resolutions, like New Year's resolutions, because I always thought that basically you make them to fail. Um, you know, people saying like, I'm gonna lose 40 pounds or I'm gonna exercise every day, which is fine. But for me, if I made extreme commitments like that, okay. But I know that if I make extreme commitments like that, I am more likely than not, not going to do it. Um, so that's why I'm calling these goals because they're a lot more realistic. I feel like me doing this video is part of it. Um, perfectionism is something I really struggle with. So a lot of the times I want things to be perfect before I film a video, but um, yeah, I'm trying to not give into that, which is why I'm filming this YouTube video with this haircut, which I don't really like, but you know, what can you do? Okay, so I have my 2021 goals written down in my journal, um, and I have them split up into different categories. So for my personal goals, I want to find one new hobby and care about the progress. So like I mentioned before, I struggle a lot with perfectionism. So a lot of the times I won't even try something because I guess like I don't like the process of just not being great at it in the beginning. So I think when I think about caring about the progress, that will help me to kind of stick with it. Um, and finding one new hobby kind of goes into the second goal, which is to spend less time on my phone and to find other things to fill my time. Um, yeah, I think sometimes I think about, oh, is it worth my time? And like, is it worth my time to read this book? Or is it worth my time to do this or that? And sometimes I think I think to myself like, no. And so I end up just spending my free time on my phone, just like, scrolling on Instagram or watching YouTube videos and um, in the end like that's not really worth my time either so I wrote down that instead I should ask myself do you want to do it then do it yeah and stop thinking about if it's good or worthwhile because I think those kind of questions kind of stop me from doing it but then I end up spending my time on not worthwhile things anyways um, and then another personal goal is to read three books. So actually last year when COVID started, I actually read a lot more than three books, but I wanted to just write three books so it's more realistic. I actually already started reading a book. It's called Peaceful Parent Happy Kids. I think that's the title of it. Pretty good so far. Now, under physical goals, I have to strengthen my core. Um, after giving birth to Caleb and after being pregnant, my core is definitely so much weaker than before. Like I feel like I can barely make a mind muscle connection to it anymore. So that's definitely one of my goals for this year. Um, I want to work on my posture. My posture for as long as I can remember has been really poor. So especially this year and last year, I really started to feel the effects of my bad posture on my neck and my back. So. That's definitely something I want to work on because I know that in the long run, it will definitely affect me a lot. Hi! you back? Are you back? And it's been a long time since you guys have seen Caleb, but he's walking around and everything yeah. now. You come here to mess around? He's grown up a lot since you guys last saw him. He's walking, he's a lot more opinionated now, um, which is a good thing. He's able to communicate, you know, what he wants and everything. He wants to be here right now, but he's gonna mess around with the camera. So my next goal is to work out consistently. I didn't write down like a range like two to or two times a week or five times a week because I feel like in different times of life, like you know, working out five times a week is realistic, and then other times working out two times a week is realistic. So um, yeah, I just wrote out consistently. Like I just want to be able to work out regularly and have that as a habit. So next category is spiritual. So I wrote down discipline with no guilt attached. Um, I feel like if I don't do my devotional time, like read my Bible and pray, I end up feeling guilty, but then that guilt kind of 
prevents me from wanting to do it even more. Um, so yeah, I wrote down that I want to be disciplined but with no guilt attached. So um, I think just having that reminder of no guilt attached, like even if I haven't done it, maybe like let's say in a week that I feel like I can do it and I can approach it because I do want to be disciplined and that's a goal of mine this year. And then the other spiritual goal that I um, wrote down was to spend enjoyable time with God. Yeah, like I want the time that I spent with God to not be something that I don't look forward to. And I know that um, a lot of the times in the beginning it can be kind of like hard and boring and spending time with God and um, learning to hear his voice is kind of like something you have to practice and something that you get better with over time. But yeah, I hope that by the end of this year, like I can really look forward to the time that I spend with God. And then in terms of family, um, we're actually possibly going to move into our own home this year. So just some goals I wrote for that is making the home accessible for Caleb. So um, kind of like going with like the Montessori way of doing things. So making sure things are low um, and at his level so that he can reach them like bowls and dishes and his snacks, um, his clothes so he can learn how to dress himself, stuff like that. And then the next goal I have is to make a home on a budget. So um, I'm excited to make the place that we move into more of like our space, um, but I don't know how long we're gonna be living there. So that's why I said on a budget because I don't wanna spend too much money because yeah, I don't think this will be our forever home. The next goal that I wrote is devotion time with family. Um, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. And then I want to finish the Big Little Feelings toddler course that um, I bought last, I think it was during Black Friday last year, um, but I want to do that with Justin. Um, I do like a lot of the strategies that they teach and their mentality, um, more so like the gentle parenting um, kind of strategies. And I feel like that's actually something that I hope to make a video about in the future as well. But yeah, I feel like there are things that I like and things that I don't necessarily agree with, um, but I do want to finish that course because I feel like it will help me and Justin to really be on the same page and for us to have conversations, um, especially as Caleb is getting older. Um, I don't think we're quite at the age of discipline yet, but you know, it's gonna come soon. And then in terms of marriage goals, I wrote that I wanna put Justin first. Um, I think that since having Caleb, a lot of the times it's really my tendency to think about what Caleb needs first and everything. And I think there's like a practical part of it where yeah, I do need to think about what Caleb needs, like what he's gonna eat, what he's gonna drink, what he needs to do next. But I feel like in my heart and in my mind, I want to have Justin as the first, and I don't really know what the practical steps are, but um, definitely I think just like praying about it and being more intentional about it. Um, this one is more of those like abstract goals, but I'm hoping just having it written down will really help um, and having it in mind. Um, and then second goal is to show Justin more affection and I feel like that's something that I used to do a lot more than I do now since having kids so um, that's definitely something I want to work on. Last in the marriage category is to improve our communication and for me in particular it's that if I'm upset that I communicate that with Justin instead of kind of just shutting down because um, that's my tendency when I'm upset that I I don't communicate it, but I communicate it in other ways. Instead, I kind of want to really improve on just communicating with him instead, or maybe even like taking time by myself um, to process things, which I feel like is something that might benefit us. So those are my 2021 goals. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys have any 2021 goals. Um, yeah, I think it's really nice to share what sort of intentions or things that we want to work on in the new year um, but yeah i'm actually excited about this this is the first year that i've done like a sort of goals or resolution thing i'm excited to see how i'm writing it all down and maybe reviewing at the end of the year and seeing how many goals um, i was able to accomplish um, so yeah if you are new here please subscribe and don't forget to like the video and comment down below i'd love to talk to you guys i hope to make more videos this year, so I will see you guys soon. Bye!